people. Um, today we're at the uh, Winton Cemetery. Um, I'm here to find uh, the grave of uh, Minnie Dean. I'll tell you a little story of Minnie Dean. It's a childhood story that we all grew up with here in Southland. Uh, Minnie Dean. Her real name was not Minnie Dean, it was Willow, Wilhelmina. Um, she arrived from, well she told the story that she arrived right from Tasmania, that uh, she was a widow, but in fact that was uh, all lie. She was, she also said that she was a daughter of a doctor from England, that was also a lie. Uh, she was in fact a daughter of a train driver. And um, obviously she winged her way to get to New Zealand. Arrived into Bluff uh, in the late 1800s, 1860s I think it was. Uh, married a bloke here in Southland, um, a Dean. Well, that's how she got her last name Dean. Um, they struggled like most people, fell on hard times. Back then there was no welfare. Um, people had to do what they had to do to survive. Uh, but like it's getting today, we have to do what we have to do to survive. Um, so the old legend goes that um, that she killed babies, that she stuck needles in babies' heads, and that's what we were all taught to believe. That um, the old story was, if you didn't behave yourself, um, Minnie Dean's going to come and get you in the night. And she's going to stab you in the head with a needle. Well, that was a lie, people. Um, there were deaths in her care, yes. Um, she had two children of her own. Unfortunately, they passed away, probably from malnutrition back in those days. A lot of malnutrition back in those days. Yeah, and people struggled to be able to put decent food on the table. Uh, and as far as the story goes, as far as I know, that there was only two other children that died in her care. Now, she was a baby farmer. Baby farming was common back in those days. Um, unwanted babies had to go somewhere. So people become, well, what we say today, foster. But back then it was called baby farm. So people would pay her to take care of the baby and probably pay a fee um, for, for having the child. And unfortunately, hard times, you know, diseases. Um... They probably weren't coping too with financial pressure, probably going through a bit of mental health issues. Apparently she caught a train to Christchurch, I think it was, to, with, a, with a, 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 a hat case, I think it, it was, um, to pick up a child. Um, she had a child in her hand, boarding the train and the hat case, and coming off the train, she only had the hat case. And that led the uh, police into the inquiries, which at the, that time, back in the late 1800s, um, it was starting to look uh, down upon in European society with uh, baby farming. There was a lot of babies dying, so there was a big inquest going on at the time. And unfortunately, Emily Dean was involved. Was she wrongly accused? Possibly. Did she commit the crimes? Possibly not. She was the only woman here hung in Southland and the only woman hung in New Zealand. Now, we got told as stories that there was numerous babies that she killed. Uh, that's the lie. And we also got told that she got hung at the, um, at the railway station, which is also a lie. She got hung at the penitentiary, which is still active today. I'll take you there and we'll do an outside video of the penitentiary. Um... I can't go in there because it's operating, of course. Um, so we're here at the Winton Cemetery to look for the grave. And I'll fly the drone in and we'll see if we can find the grave. And then um, and then we'll go in and I'll show you the grave of Minnie Dean. Um, I'm going to research in town today to see if the house is still standing that they had. Um, possibly not. I mean, she got executed in... 1895 or 1896 somewhere around then and her husband passed away in 1908 I think it was um, for many years the grave has been unmarked um, I'm not too sure today whether the grave is there or not 
but there is a board up here and it does tell me the plot section of where her grave is and I'll just go and spin the camera around and show you now uh, bear with me I've got to turn the microphone around as well so looking on this board um, where we got ding 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 where did I swear is it ding 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 and here we go here we got Wilhelmina section old yeah. I don't know what the eight is maybe the row and uh, plot number two so that's where she's buried now I'm not too sure whether uh, they've got a plaque or a headstone yet for many years it has been unmarked um, poor woman nobody deserves to have an unmarked grave um, so I'll fly the drone in and we'll see if we can find the grave picked up now it's uh, blowing a gale out here um, so I found the place where the Deans used to live 
Um, the house was pulled down around the 1934, 1935. It was demolished. Um, it's now a farmland. Yeah, the fence that still has the old name of the property. Um, I'll spin the camera around and the microphone. So you can see on the fence here, it's got the name of the property, the latches, and around here was where the property of the Dean's house was. Um, there was two children found in a shallow grave here, recently buried when the, the constables come and arrested um, Minnie Dean and took her away for trials. trials. Um, if you ask me, I think she was wrongly accused. Um, they could not prove that she murdered the children. Now, she did go under the radar, as far as I know, because uh, I've got the date there, I'll put it up on the, on the page, that the Child Protection Act changed and children under two years old had to be registered and because they were starving for money um, you know it was unaffordable for her she just couldn't register um, she had to go under the radar so unfortunately that was her demise well anyway people this is um, roughly where the property was I won't take a picture of the farmer's house because that's not right, they're not at home, so I won't take a picture of their house. So this was just the area where the house was people, we'll see you soon.